Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. This is one of those videos where I could say I told you so. Um, and I'm going to say I told you so, but I take absolutely no pleasure over it. Because someone has been seriously injured, a pensioner has been attacked, uh, and is in a really bad way, seriously injured and in hospital because of an attack by an XL bully dog. This is what I said would happen because the uh, SNP refused to ban them because they wanted to create that difference, another grievance with the rest of the UK and said, no, 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 there's no need to ban them. And I said, what will happen is they'll flood up into Scotland and people will get attacked. And there were people in the comments saying, oh no, that won't happen. It's not the dogs, it's the owners and blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, guess what? That's exactly what's happened. Someone has been attacked and very, very senior, uh, uh, seriously injured. And yet they need not have happened. This could, it should have been avoided. Had Hamza Youssef said, no, we will go along with the rest of the UK on this and we will ban them from the same time. And then this attack would not have happened. Well done. You've created a grievance and people get hurt. Let's have a look. Now, this is literally what's happened because they didn't want to do, go along with what the rest of the UK were doing. We've got to be different. We've got to push because it'll help us become an independent nation. They didn't ban them. And now a 73 year old man is in hospital with very serious injuries. So horror XL bully attack leaves pensioner in hospital hours before the SNP set out the ban details. Meanwhile, in England, of course, they're already banned because they took action, you know, some time ago. And if the, Scots, the Scottish government had done the same thing, then this man would not now be in hospital. The attack in Aberdeen left a 73-year-old man in hospital with serious injuries to his arms, hands and face. Traumatic attack may not ever recover given his age. An American XL bully dog due to be destroyed left a pensioner in hospital after a horror attack. The 73-year-old was mauled in Aberdeen just a day before the SNP's uh, government, the, uh, the Scotland's SNP government, finally sets out details of a ban on the breed. The victim is believed to have suffered severe injuries to his arms, hands and face. His wife, aged 70, was also taken to the Aberdeen Royal Infirmary and her injuries are said to be less dangerous or less serious. When you are pushing differences for the sake of differences, based purely on political expediency, people will get hurt. And I said... I said at the time, unless these are banned, there will be an attack. People will get hurt. And lo, it came to pass. This man is now very, very seriously injured because the SNP didn't do the same as England in case it's seen as being subservient to England. Well, well done. I do hope that the, uh, the old man is an SNP supporter because this may change his vote and he may become an ex-SNP supporter and therefore strengthen the sanity of the nation. The incident happened on Wednesday in the Dice area of the city, according to the reports, and the animal was due to be put down. Its owner, Jack Watson, 23, I suspect he's probably a rather inadequate young man, told the Press and Journal he's a reactive dog. He got attacked when he was younger, but he's never been bad or anything. They've just come in and he's not expecting it and he's jumped out of the cage and started attacking. Well, there you go. Your fault. If you knew that dog had been traumatised as a pup, you should have dealt with it. And why is the cage unlocked? Mr Watson said it was his choice to have the dog named Gunner and put uh, to put, put down, having owned it for over two years. He said, it's a nightmare that I thought would never happen. Well, that's strange because everyone else knew these kind of things happened, which is why they were banned in England. Which is why anyone with sense knows that these dogs are owned by usually inadequate young men in order to make them look bigger and stronger. And yet they are killer dogs. They have killed. Uh, he said, I've got an appointment with the vet. I feel upset but for the safety of my own family. Imagine if his own child had died. Would he feel such a big man then? Probably not. But hey, while he's got a big rough dog, he can be the man, can't he? He's the, he's the big man. Uh, a day after the attack, Community Safety Minister Siobhan Brown, this is her, this is the woman who said, we don't need to ban these dogs, we don't want to ban the dogs, we're fed up with people bringing their dogs to Scotland. Didn't ban them though, did you? 
So there's the woman responsible, the woman who didn't want to ban the dogs. She's the one responsible for this attack. Anyway, a day after the attack, Community Safety Minister Siobhan Brown set out details of new restrictions on the breed in Scotland. She was forced to act after Rishi Sunak implemented a similar ban in England and Wales, resulting in an influx of dogs to Scotland. She doesn't want to act, but she knows she's got to, and especially now. And of course, it's now... I, I think this guy really needs to sue the Scottish government for not bringing this ban in, when it was quite clear that the ban was needed. Bullies will need to be registered and muzzled when out in public while, bre while the breeding, selling and abandonment of the animals becomes an offence under new laws. Well, I think abandoning an animal is an offence anyway. But anyway, uh, on the attack last week, a police Scotsman, uh, Scotland spokeswoman told the Express around 3pm on Wednesday 17th of January, we received a report of a man being attacked by a dog in the Carinia Circle area of Aberdeen. Emergency services attended and a 73-year-old man and a 70-year-old woman were taken to Aberdeen Royal Infirmary for treatment. Inquiries are ongoing to establish the full circumstances. Put the dog down, charge the owner. Now, the, the owner needs to be charged. And then she needs to be sued by the old couple. She's the one. Thumbs up. Yeah, XL bullies. They're the greatest dogs ever. Look at her. Didn't want to ban them. Didn't want to put the van in. Now she has to. Another, another U-turn from another inadequate. And now people get hurt on her watch. And that's why she doesn't like it, but she's forced to U-turn, she's forced to ban them. And she's going to have to force to be in line with England and Wales, which is where she should have been on day one. Another SNP politician, ill-fit for purpose, and who deliberately, through actions, harms people. Well done. Well done, all you SNP voters. As a man lying in hospital, because you vote for these strange people who are constantly looking for ways just to be different from England, for the sake of it, regardless of the health or safety of the people. And if you're an SNP voter, just remember this. It could have been your child. It could have been your child ripped apart by this dog. And that's the party you're voting for. Well done. I'm coming up. And I think we do need to be thankful. I mean, terrible that the attack was, but at least be thankful it was a 70-year-old grown man who was attacked and not a seven-year-old child. That child would now probably be dead. And all because the SNP want to be a bit different, want to create a grievance, want to have differences between England and Scotland for the sake of differences. And whether people die or not is immaterial. I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and never trust the SNP with your safety. Bye.